Hey everybody, it's Stoic Gamer Drunk and I welcome you all back to my channel. And here we are with issue 5, Life is Strange Dust. Now while I'm uploading, while this video gets uploaded, I just want to mention real quick that I just finished a walkthrough of a game called Prince of Cats, so I don't know if, um, because that one's still editing, so I don't know if, like, if this will be uploaded first and then my walkthrough, because in my walkthrough I get a notification and it's about life, it's about issue 5 coming out, because I got it on my phone. And I was like, oh, okay, issue 5 is out. So, if this video here is uploaded first, and then you watch my previous one, um, and I say, like, oh, Life is Strange, issue 5 is out, that's because that video was before this. Okay, now let's take a look, shall we? Previously, okay. How do I do that zooming in? Is that it? No. How do I, how do, I do that zoom before? Okay, um, what are the options? Oh, here we go. I'm going to have to... Z zoom in here so here we go previously okay um uh this one okay yeah so it's not the same it's different again mysteriously gifted with the power to rewind time max caulfield used her new abilities to reconnect with her oldest friend chloe price and to bring justice to the murder to the murderers of chloe's closest confidant rachel amber max's abilities came at a cost however if max altered the original timeline in which chloe died of a gunshot wound a hurricane, oh, uh, sorry, a hurricane would destroy their hometown, Arcadia Bay. In one reality, R. Max chose to save Chloe's life, sacrifice the Arcadia Bay. A year later, to save herself from a flux of possibilities that was tearing her apart, Max jumped into a new timeline, reconciling the, the dispo, disparate shards of herself in the process. Max may now be whole, but she's far from unscathed in an ocean of possibilities. Where does she go from here? And what, to save... Yeah. So in one timeline, Max sacrificed Arcadia Bay to save Chloe. Since then, the pair have been living in Max's parents' house in Seattle for nearly a year. How about showing us the parents in the comic for once? Okay. Max hadn't used her power since the night of the storm, but when she started slipping between timelines or strings of realities, Max and Chloe set out set set course for Arcadia Bay in search for answers. The pair found a Prescott-funded restoration effort in full swing, attempting to breathe life back into the remains of Arcadia Bay in time for the one-year anniversary of its destruction. Max continued to flicker between a multitude of possible timelines. It was out of her control. She could feel the currents of time pulling her apart. The flickers became faster, more intense. Max was pulled through a maelstrom of possibilities, each flicker taking more and more out of her. She eventually learned that the only way out was through. Max realized that she had to reunite all the fractured parts of herself before reality itself washed her away. Max and Chloe opened their hearts to one another before Max took a leap of faith. With a photo from before her time at Blackwell Academy as her lodestar, Max dived into her lodestar. What? Someone, you, you, someone explain that to me. Lodestar. What the hell? This isn't Guardians of the Galaxy. Max dived into a horror, a war. A whirl? Is that meant to be whirl? A whirl of timelines she caused the transit to find a string untouched by her time travel ventures. She... Oh, okay, so... She fought... So this is a timeline where she didn't have powers then, okay. Okay, um... What do you call it? She reached out of the... She reached out for the brightest light and found herself on the shore of a somewhere entirely new Santa Monica, California. A timeline where both Chloe and Rachel were alive. But what will Max find in this new timeline? Let's find out. So, Waves, part one of four. Okay, okay, so this is five, six, seven, eight. There you go, that's four issues. So this is going to be arc two then. Santa Monica, 2016. 2016 has seen a sharp rise in local crime figures according to statistics released by Santa Monica Law Enforcement today, with violent crimes leaping almost 4% year on year. Oh, no, wait, yeah, and there's, there's Max. No, no, she's not there. I thought I saw her up there, but there she is there. Love, love, oh, there he is. That's him. I see him there in the black coat. I see him there from issues seven and eight. I see him there from the covers. Okay. You came here to listen to me read this? That's what I'm going to do. La residents place blame on the newly opened Expo Metro train line, believing it has opened the floodgates to navigate influ to, to negate influence from outside the region. Yo, back again. Hey, Paul. Yep, can't keep away. Whatever the cause, 
The rise has been dramatic and politicians of both parties are calling on the police to take control of the issue. Is this going to be because she came to this timeline, crime is increasing? Is that it, seriously? That's what's happening, is it? It's subtle, but maybe that's what happened. Suits me just fine. We need to talk new interior photos for the website too. Sure, I'm on it. Just tell me when works for you. Copy on the house. Thanks, Paul. Wait, wait, wait. So it's 2016. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. That's right. Life is Strange 2 is set in 2016. Because... Okay, okay. I, I see what's happening. Because this... I just missed this. But I don't know if any of you, you missed it as well. Basically, Life is Strange Season 1 or Life is Strange 1, the game with Max, is 2013. The arc one, the first story we read, takes place in 2014. So now it's 2016, now it's two years later. Okay, because I was confused. I was like, um, has this Max absorbed the uh, Max's memories? Or is like, what's going on? Or, yeah, okay. I, so now I know, okay. Now I know, okay. Copy on the house. Thanks, Paul. And I just noticed she's got that butterfly tattoo there. A uh, rash of robberies and assault cases have led the police to target two suspect drug kings in the last month. In, in just the last month. Sweet, sweet lifeblood. And there he is. There's that guy. Is he staring at Max? Or what's he doing? He's looking at the coins. String theory is just that, a theory. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Paul. Quiet in here. It's the middle of the day. Some people are at work. Um, hey, I worked all morning. How many trucks have you ma made? Li how many what? How many trucks have you made live today? I'll take a ginger beer. My hand is literally literally already on the bottle. He knows me so well. That he does. You run at the apartment, so I guess you'd be here. So she's working on trucks, is she? Because you can see like her face there. You can see kind of the grease mark. Um, I just got here myself. I finished up edits on that theater real early. They're paying, right? Thanks, Paul. Yeah, I mean, there are, they are community theater, so it's not a lot, but it all helps. Have you heard how Rachel's audition went this morning? Of course she wants to be an actress, you know? Nope, not yet. I am rooting for her. What do you do? You, like, swipe the coin. Ping ching, ping ching. Fuck, me too. Hopefully, this time, huh? Did he just steal his money? What's going on? Get out. I'm recording. I told you. No, 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 shit. God damn it, woman. I told my mom I'm recording, and this is like... Christ. I could learn some manners! Okay. She'll need some good news when she sees Victoria's latest and. Son of a bitch. Don't tell me Victoria's in this too. Fuck her. It still blows my mind that you read that shit, Max. You don't even ha have knowing her. You don't even have knowing her as an excuse. Uh, I know. I just, I know how much it means to Rachel and you. Don't get cute, Maximus. I don't give a flying shit about Victoria Trace. She was a bitch at school, she's a bitch now, a witch Rachel would stop caring too. I mean, really, really, uh, sorry, I mean, really, who cares who has the biggest fucking flower count? I'm sure Victoria is most, mostly front, Chloe, like she builds walls because... Max, please, I know Victoria. It's adorable that you want to see the best in people, but she's not worth it. Do you have... Oh, wait, do, uh, did you know you have, what? She goes to reason. Um, grease on your face? Whoa, deja vu. Thanks, Max, my hero. So when she went to reach out, it was like... Kind of like a memory there, or something. Like, that That was in issue one with the truck. Remember that? And you think they're going to kiss, and it was like, oh, god damn it. Oh, is Max just remembering that? Is that um, grease on your face. Wow. Oh, whoa, deja vu. Thanks, Max, my hero. Huh? Hey, Max, my deja vu is very interesting. What are you so distracted by? That boy who came in with me, he just sat there for a bit and left without ordering. 
So, he was probably just killing time. Well, damn, where the hell is my tip jar? And he stole it later. Do you smell weed from the downstairs apartment? Jeez, Max, you are so damn nosy. Oh, actually, yeah, I do. Hi, guys, it's amber light time, so get ready. So, I had a ton of you ask me about my eyeliner, so I thought I'd... What you doing? Hi guys, it's Amber Light Time, so get ready. Today is all about eyeliner and... Uh, hi guys, today is all about murdering another little piece of my soul. Ah, oh, she's doing one of those things. Oh crap, were you shooting a video? Just considering if shooting myself would be easier. That There's my dr drama queen, I try. God damn it! No! I'm not happy with this. But this isn't even the Chloe from the first arc, so it's like... You know what? I don't even care. We want we want we want that Chloe back. We want Max to go back to that timeline. I try. Ugh, please don't even joke about that, Rachel. Relax, Max. I'll be alive and well to tackle my exciting video on how to apply perfect flick eyeliner tomorrow. Wow, that sounds mind blowingly dull. Gee, Chloe, why don't you tell me what happened in the repair shop today? Well, we had this car in engine light flashing, and we searched and searched, but it turned out the fault was with the engine light? Wow, that sounds so mind-blowingly dull. Oh, I get like, she's like, turned out the fault was with the engine light. That's how she said. You are mean to me. Yeah, you love it. Chloe Price, glutton for punishment. Putting up with me for this long, she must be. Hey, Max. Don't you need cream for for carbonara? Ca carbonara? What? Carbonara? Is that, is that the word? Only if you want to be non-authentic about it. Such a hipster. Hey, Rage. How'd your audition go? I couldn't get anyone to cover my shift up at the diner. I I couldn't go. Oh no. Crap. Couldn't you just quit and go? It's not that easy, Chloe. I've quit like six jobs these last few months. It's getting kind of hard to persuade people to hire me. Hey, it's all good, and this pasta smells delish. Let's just focus on that. Damn, I needed this. You're right, Max. It totally doesn't need the cream. This is why we keep you around. Well, that and the rent contribution. Oh, sure, I mean that too. I hate you guys. Aw, oh, but we love you. What she said. I'm taking each day as it comes, Chloe, just like we said we would in another life. I miss you. You're right in front of me and I still miss you. Am I crazy? It's just that the more I look around me, the more I learn that we we are all made up of our experiences and our memories. So what does that make me, Chloe? I've done things that I've caused so much pain even while trying to heal, but not here. We spent a year understanding guilt and grief, and now, how am I supposed to process that guilt in a world where, where the consequences of my actions didn't happen, where Arcadia Bay is whole and alive, where you, you hurt less? I'm here in a place where you are happy, where our friends are alive, even if they have no idea who I am. What does it say about me that I miss a world where they aren't? I don't have the right to be that selfish. Some, wait, what was that? Ah, oh, it's nothing. Like it. <coughs> it's just a bush. Whoa, false alarm. Sometimes I feel like I want to or need to test myself. One rewind, one subtle sidestep. But I know how dangerous that could be, and I know that door closed behind me. Still. I was forced out of your world. I made the last jump to save both of us. I know that. In the transit, I looked for the brightest light that would let me in, and it drew me here. And I've made the most of it ever since, I promise. It's a good life, but it's not a life I made with you, and I want to, and I want to know you are okay. I just, I wish there was a way to know. I can live with loneliness if I could just know. Come meet me at the shop after you are done pumping coughing into your veins. Hey, I have my addiction totally under control. But yes, we'll do, poor, 
Paul wants, no, sorry, but yes, we'll do. Paul wants to play in layouts for the new menu. Won't be long. Huh? That boy, he's the one who left the bar before ordering yesterday. He looks so sad. Back in Blackwell, Kate Marsh. Oh, really, Kate? She didn't need someone with superpowers to save her. Oh, okay, okay, this is just her remembering that. She just needed someone to see that she was struggling. If I'd seen it sooner, I wouldn't have needed powers at all. Though, though seeing it isn't the same as acting on it. Hey Max, perfect timing. H hi Paul. I was just, yeah, the ocean's pretty in the morning. Head on in when you're ready Max. I'll get your usual. You are the best. I'll be right there. I... Huh? He's gone! Da-da-da. Perry's Motors. That's where Chloe works. And you see that later. Miss Caulfield, a good day to you. You looking for Chloe? Yeah, hi Perry. She'd be out back in the workshop. Insists upon spending her lunch break in that musty old shed instead of hanging out. Go figure. She's been known to crumble in the light of the sun. Thanks, Pre Thanks Perry. You're a ghost in your own time, a spirit of a forgotten mind. Whoa, is that a high seas song? Oh hey, the who now? The high seas? You were singing their song? Huh? Nope, never heard of them. I just, I must have just heard it somewhere. That's weird. They are not exactly radio superstars. I, I guess I knew, knew them, knew of them back in Seattle. Ooh, a hipster band. Say no more. Shut up. They were great. Ow. Okay, okay. There, there's probably still a lot more about our great divide than our music taste to catch up on. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring that shit up again. Chloe, I'll always be sorry I left you. I mean, I, when I went to Seattle, no more apology, apologizing, Max. It's in the past, okay? Anyways, thanks for meeting me. I wanted to talk to you about Rachel. Sure, Chloe. Shoot. I think she's... I don't think she's happy, Max. She's a good actor, but I see it. What? And fuck if I know how to fix it. I wish you'd known her at Blackwell, Max. She was like this beacon of light. It sounds bullshit, but she really was. She was confident, but she shared it around, you know. She inspired people. Talented, ready to take on the world, or at least LA. But when, but oh, sorry, when you left, she was there to pick me up. Now I feel some something's leaving her, and I don't know what to do. All I know is I want her to be happy. I see that all the time, Chloe. I'm so I'm sure she does too. Wow, sorry, Max. I'm being a total killjoy. Hey, don't apologize. It's okay. Yeah, fuck Rachel Amber. Don't apologize. Well, I guess not in this timeline, but, you know, like, in our timeline, you know. The, the one we're used to. Fuck Rachel Amber. I never used to be like this. She changed me, made me, you know, emote and shit. Healthy, emoting Chloe. I like her. Okay. So, in the... Come in... Oh, why am I stuttering? I don't know. I think I need a drink because my throat's dry. Come inside, I want to show you something. Oh? I'm not going to oversell it, but it's actually pretty cool. I haven't told Rachel yet, but... I got my first actual commission. A real one with money and everything. Wow, you actually made art? Pretty cool, Chloe. Chloe, that's... that's amazing. I know, right? They saw one of my pieces I'd given the poor for the beach house and tracked me down. I'm a motherfucking artist. Why haven't you told Rachel, though? I... I don't want her to feel bad. Like I said, I think she's, she, I think she feels like she's failing somehow, and I don't want to add to that. Chloe, Rachel, she, uh, Chloe, Ra oh, sorry, Chloe, Rachel, she loves you. She'll be happy for you. Seeing someone you love doing something amazing is, it's not a negative thing. You think? I know. Okay then. In that case, I'll tell her this evening. My ladies, I have news. Oh yeah? Good or bad? It's kinda good, but sorta bad. Cryptic? So I got a recall. That's kinda awesome news. How is that bad? Which one is this? Well, it's not for TV or, or a movie. It's for theater. Kind of. I mean, it's Shakespeare, but it's a tour. 
I'll play a few theatres, but it's mostly schools and community spaces, that sort of thing. I'm still not seeing the bad. How long is the tour? Six months. Holy shit, that's amazing. That's like a real job. Yeah, but it's kind of far away. Oh? Oh. Like another state? Like East Coast, New York to Florida. Six months on the other side of America. Starts in New York City and travels the East Coast to Florida. It doesn't pay a lot, but I'd get accommodation and food included. That sounds amazing. Six months. On the other side of the US, not the world, and it's just six months. Phones exist, video chat exists. Chloe, I need this, I need to try. I get that, but so far away, all we did to get here to build our all we did sorry. All we did to get here, to build lives here. This was our new chapter and you are and it's been great and it's still gonna be great. A book has a lot of chapters, Chloe. This isn't about running away from anything, least of all you. It's about moving towards something. Look, you guys can't imagine what it's like to feel that there's another life out there you could be living, and it's... It's not here. I can. You already said yes to the recall, didn't you? Yeah. I know what you are thinking, what you are feeling, I know you, and that's why I was scared to tell you. I... I'm being an idiot. Only a little. I'm just gonna... Wait a minute. Ah, oh, ah, oh, this, this, I, I'm, I'm, this is probably bullshit. It's not gonna be happening, but... You know in the, that X-Men movie, or X-Men Origins Wolverine, Silver Sable, when she's got, like, that power to persuade people and that? Is that Rachel's power? Is that what she has? Oh, well, it's probably not, but... No, we'll have to look more into this. I'm being an idiot. Only a little. I'm just gonna... This closes the door. This is the only place I could be. The transit showed me that. I have to. That boy again. Why couldn't Paul see him? I... What? No, what? Is he a... Flicker? No. No, it can't be happening again. Can't, can't. I can't let it happen again. Okay, so that's the end. Alright, so we got issue 6 here, out June 26. Okay. And that is... Everything... That's nice last work. Yep. That's everything there. Alright, so, yep. June 26, is that what it said? Let's just, or was it June 16? Yep, yeah, June 26. So holy shit, okay, that guy, he has to have powers, if, similar to Max, if not, like, I don't know, but, um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to find out, we're gonna have to do some theory videos here. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. And I also plan to release this comic without me talking. Like, I'm going to make a proper one where I'm going to re-record it where I'm just going through the, um, story, basically. You know, it's going to be the full comic, but I won't be talking and it will be a little slower. I won't be going back. I'll just be going forward. You know, just keep going through the pages. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. This is Togamer Junkie, signing off.